Hey guys, Nabil here. I hope everyone is doing okay. Today we woke up and were surprised to find out some unexpected announcement from SNK. And I'm talking about the official, yes, I said it, official weekly King of Fighters 15 series, weekly tournament series, which is what? This came out out of nowhere. So we're going to check the announcement, look at the details, and then we're going to talk about it and tell you guys what I think about this whole thing. Now, before I do that, a gentle reminder to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I drop a new video. So this is the official tweet that showed up uh, today from SNK. King of Fighters 15 ICFC Weekly Series. The first round of the series will start on Thursday, May 26th. Entry starts today and yeah, I was like, what? What is this? What is this? It says North America, Europe, and Asia. So we're going to go ahead and check the official website and then talk about this. So this is the official website, as you can see in here. Let me just center this correctly. Better. So it states that the official King of Fighters 15 online tournament, the KOF 15 ICFC weekly series has been announced. Weekly tournaments will be held in three regions around the world with a total of nine rounds to determine the regional champions. And then we have overview and stand-ins, rules, registration, and also streaming. So this is SNK with ICFC um, and 10.gg, uh, 10.0gg. So let's uh, look at an overview. So the King of Fighters ICFC, which stands for Intercontinental Fight Club Weekly Series, um, or KOF 15 ICFC, for short, is a series of tournaments, events by SNK and 10O LLC. It is a series of open online tournaments for players residing in locations specified in the supported regions. Tournament operations and communication between players and tournament group will happen over the communication platform Discord. Players will link their Discord account upon registration for a tournament. Players are expected to be present and appropriate, blah, 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 etc. So just some of the rules, check-in, etc. Uh, this is going to be streamed on Twitch, on YouTube. And the tournament structure is basically, uh, there's qualifier events, will be weekly tournaments, featuring a continental format, where all players in the listed region compete against each other in bracket pools arranged without consideration of country. Top players from each pool will qualify to advance, to compete against each other in a continental top eight. Final events will be invitational events featuring a double elimination competition with eight players with the highest total points earned from qualifiers events. Seeding will be based on points earned with the top four players with the highest total. So th these are you know uh, rules which we can go through them later, but this is gonna start next week, the 26th. Uh, it's divided into three uh, regions, Asia, Asia, Europe, and North America. So what are the uh, countries, which is going to be seen here, the rules and region. So, uh, Asia. The Asian re Asia region has Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam, and Malaysia, Europe, Albania, Andorra, uh, Austria, Belgium, Bosnia, pretty much all of Europe. And then UK, Morocco, I'm there, and Turkey. I'm so happy to have Morocco in there. And in fact, I already registered before doing this video. I went ahead and registered. I'm entering this tournament, baby. We'll see what happens, but I'm excited. I'm going to be training this week. Um, North America, uh, Puerto Rico, Dom Dom Bahamas. So Mexico, Mexico City. Uh, so part of Latin America are unincluded, so Mexico is in there, Canada is in there, and the thing is, uh, some countries were not included, like the Middle East is not included, part of Africa, besides Morocco, it's the only African country to be included. I mean, I'm happy Morocco is there, but obviously, I feel for my brothers and sisters in, in FGC who actually can't. Uh, enter because it's, this is restricted and the, the region is not in there. Uh, Algeria, which is close by. Um, I'm also surprised um, uh, 
Pakistan is not in there, so uh, the the uh, United Arab Emirates are not in there. So a lot of good players in the like like uh, White Ash, uh, obviously, uh, who's I'm pretty sure is not happy about this, unfortunately. But I hope I hope they can rectify that, or maybe this is just the first the first part, or maybe just the first. This is the first official, if you will, King of Fighters 15 online tournament, and I'm sure they're gonna use this opportunity to learn from from this. Now, one interesting thing, one interesting thing is that the tournament. Is not going to be in console. The tournament is actually happening on Steam. So that was very, very surprising. Seeing that the Steam version, as much as I love it, has a bit of issues right now. Uh, you have the matchmaking problem. It's still, it's still uh, I was having issues trying to connect to a player yesterday. Um, and the those hiccups, every now and then you get that hiccup. I don't get it that much, but it usually happens after an update. So that's kind of... Kind of strange, and hopefully that's not going to affect the tournament. But with that said, I'm pretty happy. I'm very happy to see that they're doing this, and it's going to be exciting. I mean, you get in a lot of players, and we're going to get some. The top eights are going to be crazy. So this is going to be over the, um, uh, as we can see here. So it's going to be happening the around start at 7 p.m. my time, which is great. This is absolutely great. Uh, up to like 10 p.m., which is where the top eight. I'm definitely gonna be in there. This is very, very exciting. Very exciting. There's a lot of rules that you can go through. I'm not gonna go through those right now. Uh, but you can. It's again. It's on Steam. You can choose any. Um, so it's P game version is the PC Steam version. Three versus three, 60 seconds. Stage is random. I like that. I'm, I'm tired of seeing the the, the uh, training stage over and over again. Uh, alternate costumes are legal. Now this is this brought a question. Right now there is a bug in the latest version of the game where Terry with his Mark of the Wolves uh, skin or costume actually has some priorities that normal Terry does not, which is his croc shoot right now is safe. Why well, it shouldn't be. Uh, however, uh, the guys from ICFC have said that a new patch is coming out early next week that's gonna fix that. So uh, alternate uh, player alternate costumes are in no problem. Obviously illegal mods are not going to be accepted and it will result in immediate disqualification. Um, so yeah, this is gonna start from the 26th of May. It's gonna run for uh, until the 21st of uh, of July. And this is this is this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna be following this closely and I'm gonna be doing uh, some recaps. For these tournaments this is gonna be huge man this is gonna be this is really good again i understand the frustration for the countries that were not included and i do hope i do hope that this is just the first of many uh, again obviously i think that king of fighters 15 is such a great game and it definitely deserves an offline tournament but i do think that the situation while getting better the coronavirus situation is getting better it's still not at a point where companies will feel okay to start something right now uh probably by the end of the year uh, if, if things keep improving like this we might finally see a proper like snk pro tournament something like uh we wanted back in the day and, and we almost got but coronavirus ruined that uh so an official snk championship in the king of fighters 15 and that's gonna be even more hype but this is great news for people again who are in those regions as I said, I myself, I registered already. Um, I feel okay about my my level in King of Fighters 15. I'm not great, but I'm much better than any other KOF game I've played, and I've played all of them, so I'm happy about that. I'll be training this week. I will be training almost every day, and I'll be streaming on Twitch. Make sure to follow me on Twitch. This is where I'm streaming right now for the time being, and it's twitch.tv slash NeoGeo now. What do you guys think about this announcement all of a sudden and the tournament starting next week? Are you guys excited? Are you going to register? Is it available in your region? Let me know all that and more in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thank you guys for watching.